What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Moore back in again with another video and today we're going to be learning how to add overlay to your electric skateboard videos or any of your action sport videos. So there's going to be two different methods that I'm going to show you guys today. One's going to be free and one is going to be paid, but on the paid version you can use the trial version if you do like those overlays better. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing you're going to need is a camera. You can either use a professional camera, your iPhone camera, you can use a GoPro, Insta360, any type of camera will work with this. Now either your camera has GPS integrated into it like GoPro does or you'll have to get your own GPS data. So if your camera is not able to record GPS data for you then you'll need to download an app on your phone to record the GPS data for you on your ride. So I have an app on my phone it's called GPX Tracker so when, before I start my ride I go ahead and turn on my camera and I turn on my GPS at the exact same time and then I go on my ride afterwards I go ahead and save the file to my iPhone and that way you have your GPS file for your ride so now that you have your footage and you have your GPS data we need to go ahead and merge those two together in a software called GoPro telemetry data all the links for the iPhone app and the GoPro telemetry data will be down below in the description so here we're gonna go ahead and go to the my computer right here you can see that I have my video recorded Meeple Hurricane Alt, and I also have the GPX data. I went from my phone, transferred it to Google Drive, and then I put it on my computer. So let's go ahead and do the paid method first since it is a lot better. So we're gonna go ahead and open up GoPro Telemetry Overlay. And first thing we're gonna do is grab our video file and throw it into GoPro Telemetry Overlay. All right, you can go ahead and let it optimize. My computer's fast enough, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. It's gonna say processing telemetry, but it's not gonna find any of the telemetry. That's where you go ahead and load up your GPX file onto it. And then there you go, it populates. As you can see, we have like altitude. Altitude right here, we have our GPS map. We have our location, we have our bank angle, and we have our speed. So if your camera did not record its own GPX data, you're going to have to sync this because unfortunately you started your camera and your GPS on your phone at different times. So you're going to have to sync them. So the way I like to do it is I go ahead and go to sync telemetry. I go to a point in the video where I start moving or where I can see a turn. So first I'm going to go ahead and delete all the unnecessary things get those things out the way and I'm gonna we're gonna be paying attention to our map right here so we're gonna wait till I make my right hand turn on my video so on the video you can see that I'm making my right hand turn at the beginning but on the map you can see that I've already made the right hand turn so it means that the map is a little bit further ahead so we're gonna go to sync telemetry I like to use the offset slider right here and then we're going to move this and as you can see our map is moving forward and backwards so around here maybe four seconds now you can see that they're pointing the exact same direction it's not on the road yet and I'm not on the road yet so that's pretty much in sync then you can go ahead and click play and see if it syncs up and yeah it looks pretty good to me now there's so many different parameters and appearances and different gauges paths shapes and there's so many different gauges that you can add you can have an insane amount of stuff on your screen but for me personally i only need my speed and my distance i also like to have a map in the left hand side so we'll go ahead and add those we'll go to basic and we'll do gps path cool now i have my gps path we'll throw it there in the corner We'll make it, uh, we'll make the path like white and we'll make it a little bit smaller, throw in the corner. Now I already have my speed over here. We'll make the speed a little bit bigger and we'll make the, we'll make the lower green and we'll make the upper red so that the faster I go, the more red it gets. Now we'll skip and boom, you can see it turning red. All right, it looks pretty much like we're synced up. Sometimes your GPS accidentally records wrong speed information. So as you see, it says 49 miles, 49 miles per hour. I don't ever go that fast. You can go ahead and go right down here and it has a wrong speed indicator. So we'll go ahead and put that wrong speed. Uh, wrong speed would be 40. So if, if the GPS records anything above 40, it will not display it anymore. And that's how you fix that. Other than that, we're pretty much done. I'll go ahead and delete this and I'll go ahead and move my distance on the bottom and that's literally how I put my lap, my speed, 
and my distance. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to export. So what I like to do is you can go ahead and export it with the video and with the overlay, but if you want the highest quality looking video, then you're going to want to only export the GPS data. The way by doing that is by clicking Chroma background, and that way you're only exporting your data and your video file stays nice and clean instead of being rendered through multiple things before you throw it on YouTube, if that makes sense. And that's pretty much it. That's exactly how I put GoPro telemetry data on my videos and now you guys can do the same. All right, now that I showed you guys the paid version, let's go ahead and move on to the free version. This is going to need a couple little extra tweaks, but it's basically the same concept. Let's go ahead and head to the computer and let's get this working. So the app that we're gonna be using for this side is going to be Verb Edit. And it's literally going to be the exact same thing. We're going to go ahead and open up Verb Edit. And as you see, you can click here and create a video. I'll name it my video. And then we'll import our Hurricane Ultra video right here into the timeline. And as you can see, we have no telemetry data. Now we'll go ahead and click this little squiggly line right down here. And here it says that we can import our geometrics data. So we'll go ahead and click import. We'll go to my computer, click on browse, and then we'll go ahead and import our GPX data onto the telemetry. Now, as you can see right here, this software is old. It, the last update was in 2018. And as you can see, Google Maps changed their API, which means that you can't see the Google Maps data anymore. But there is a solution online that we can go ahead so we can fix this issue so that we can use this for free. So let's go ahead and start that now. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to our search bar and, and type in registry editor. We're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to go ahead and go to HQ local machine software, Microsoft, and then internet. So HQ local machine software, scroll down to Microsoft and scroll to internet explorer. Then we'll go to main, then we'll go to feature control and then feature browser emulation. Great. Now we're going to create a new entry, which is a D word 32 bit value with the name verb edit dot exe. We'll go ahead and click enter. Now that we've created our verb edit dot exe, we'll go ahead and double click it and we'll change this value to 00002EE1 and it's going to be hexadecimal. We'll go ahead and click OK and then that should be it. We'll reopen verb edit and we'll see if it actually works. So we'll click on my video, we'll click edit. Okay, we'll go back to the GPS function, import GPX, and yeah, there it is. It's showing Google Maps. Let's go ahead and go to my computer, Hurricane Alt. And yep, it's showing exactly the path that I took for the Hurricane Ultra. So we'll go ahead and click use this log. So in order to add our GPS overlays, we'll go ahead and click on data and we'll click on position and find gauges for position. And right here we have a track. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop that. And now we have a track overlay. In order to change it, you can go to appearance right here, transform, scale it up and down, rotate, anything you need. Now we'll go back to data and we'll go to calculated 2D speed, find gauges. And here we have a bunch of different gauges that we can use for our speed. We'll go ahead and use a goofy looking one. I'll go ahead and throw this right down here. Now we have our map and we have our speed. Let's go ahead and click the video to see what it looks like. And it looks pretty good. Now we have to go back and do the exact same thing that we did last time on our last video. We need to sync our video and our GPX data together. So we'll go ahead and click on data and then we'll go to geometric sync. All right, so the same thing as last time, we're gonna go ahead and move our video to a point where I'm kind of turning, where I can sync it to the map right here. So as you can see, we're turning. You can physically grab your point on the map and then you can put it down to exactly where you are and that should be enough to sync up the data. Oh. So then once you sync up your video and then your position on the map by selecting it and placing it down, all you have to do is click done and then your GPS will now be synced together. You can go ahead and click and then go ahead and look through the video and see if everything looks good. And yeah, everything pretty much looks good to me. Let's see, let's go to the high speed right here. And yeah, it looks like I'm going high speed. Before you can go ahead and mess with a bunch of the different gauges for all the different data types. 
distance grade course. You can also have gauge templates here. So there's futuristic, there's default, down view, grounded, classic. There's a bunch of different gauges that you can have here to mess around with and have a little bit of fun. So that is the way to do free GPS geometrics for your electric skateboarding videos, action videos, anything. So I'm glad that you guys stick to the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.